Hey guys, today we're going to talk about flawless skin. <laughs> it's Bella and today's video is going to be all about how to achieve flawless skin. When I think of flawless skin, I don't think of like covering everything up and hiding everything. I think of flawless as enhancing your natural beauty and making it look as flawless as possible that way. And I'm actually here at Smashbox Studios, which is so exciting. And so in this tutorial, I've used all Smashbox products. If you guys are interested in how I achieve flawless skin, then please just keep on watching. So the first product that I'm going to be using is actually the Photo Finish Hydrating Primer. I'm using this one because I want my skin to be moisturized and supple. So I'm just going to apply this with my fingers because it kind of warms it into the skin. And then at the end, I'm just making sure to like press it in so that everything's like sinking into the skin. And then I'm going to go in with the Pore Minimizing Primer. This one is just to create a completely smooth and flawless base. So I'm just going to warm that up in my fingers first and then I'm going to apply it wherever I like have the most pores. So normally this area and also my chin. And once again, using your fingers, it's just going to make sure that it's like really melting into the skin. I'm only going to be putting on a light base because I kind of want to focus this on being naturally flawless, not having to cover anything up. So I'm just going to do a light bit of correcting. I'm going to start with my under eyes and I'm using this color corrector, which is in Look Less Tired, the light shade. So I'm just going to place this under my eyes to cancel out any discoloration. And I'm not going to do too much. And once again, just using your finger because the finger just gives the most natural effect. And then I'm taking the shade Get Less Red. This is just going to cancel out any red discoloration you have on your face. I don't have that much, but I just like to correct under my nose just a little tiny bit. A small little pimple here and one up here. You definitely don't want to leave this one looking super green either. It's just meant to like cancel out any discoloration rather than like having to cover up the green with foundation or anything like that. But now I'm going to go in with foundation and I'm using, well this is like a BB water and I am in the shade Light Neutral. I love this one because it's water based so it's super super light. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything so it's great for everyday wear. And the coverage is really sheer as well. And then I'm just going to start by spreading it all over the face with a foundation brush and make sure you have as much as you want on your face. And obviously you want to blend it down your neck because you don't want your face to be like a different colour to your neck, so always important. And even if you're matched perfectly, you don't want like your face to be super flawless and smooth and then your neck to be, you know, rough or anything like that. And then once I've spread it everywhere, what I like to do is I just grab a sponge, any sponge, just grab your favourite sponge, and then you just press it in because a sponge is the best way to make your foundation look like super even and smooth and it just presses everything into the skin so perfectly. You won't ever get like brush lines or anything like that. So now I'm going to go in with concealer, Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. It's in the shade Light. It makes them look brighter and more awake, which I think is really important. I always like to take a shade that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And I use that not only under my eyes, but I use it on the bridge of my nose and all of those kind of places. Before I go in with any powders, you want to make sure that you've already used all of your liquid products. So this one is kind of like a cream texture, so I don't want to put it on top of my powders. This is the LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. It's the Hollywood and Highlight one. So this is more of like a strobing stick, but I'm just going to be putting it on my cheeks and stuff where you would normally do kind of like a highlighter. And I'm just going to take it on my finger. I'm just doing this to give my skin like a bit of a glow because matte skin isn't really natural like looking. I think natural looking is the most flawless. So to set my face now, I'm actually gonna use a mixture. So I'm gonna be taking the Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder in the shade Fair Light. And then I'm also gonna take this palette here. This is the Shape Matters palette. And I'm gonna mix it with this kind of like highlighter shade here because it doesn't make you like a ball of glitter, but 
it keeps luminosity into your skin. And I just like to kind of like, I don't go all around the skin because otherwise that's gonna take away coverage. So if you just kind of like press it into your skin, then you don't lose any coverage or anything. So now I'm just gonna use that same palette again. It's the Shape Matters one, and I'm going to pick up this shade right here, and I'm just gonna bronze my face with that. And I'm just gonna use the darker shade to give my face a little bit of contour. So I'm just gonna like create shadows in the face where shadows would form normally if you had like cheekbones or like nose contour or maybe you ate too many fries on the weekend and you want to contour your jaw so that you look flawless then that's what this one's for. So my little trick for my under eyes so I kind of like look up and then I grab my sponge and just blend out any creases that I have before I put powder down there. Then I'm just gonna take the lighter shade in the palette to set my under eyes, but like also keep the brightness from the concealer. I don't wanna set it with the same shade that I use for my entire face because otherwise that would kind of defeat the purpose of using the lighter concealer. I also just use this lighter shade to clean up anywhere I want cleaned up. So like under here, under my contour, it kind of like chisels out your contour a little bit more. And I always take a little bit on my forehead as well. I'm also gonna add a little bit of blush. So this is the LA Lights Blush and Highlight Palette in Malibu Berry. I'm just gonna use this normal pink shade, but it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, a little bit of a shimmer, so that way it's gonna bring luminosity to your face, which like this whole kind of look has been about, which is why I added the highlighter to the powder, all of that kind of stuff. I just wanna kind of keep that glow to the skin. So I'm gonna be taking this one here and only a little bit, it's just gonna add a little bit of flush back into your cheeks. And I'm also gonna highlight my face a little bit with the highlighting shade that I also used to mix into my face powder. So just to finish off the look and tie everything together, I'm just gonna add a lip color. This is the Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. And the last little thing that I'm gonna do, um, this is a primer, but I'm actually just gonna use it to kind of bring hydration back to my face. It just feels really good. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water, so I'm just gonna spritz my face it's super quick. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.